Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the project where I am mining the entire world. Today it's a dot .5 episode and I think it's important for me to explain what is a dot .5 episode because maybe most of you don't know because you joined recently the project. I use the dot .5 episodes to tell stories that are in between episodes. You know that usually my episodes come, well, are time lapses of, of me mining the entire world. The dot .5 episodes are the stories that are in between episodes and today I, I want to, to give you a story. This story is essentially represents things on the project that I, I need, but they don't really fit a full episode because I'm not doing time lapses mining. And today we need to go and look at two different things. The first one is our storage building. Uh, you see, I built this building uh, modular to be able to scale it up and we need to scale it because the chests are, are full again, so we need an entire new row uh, to keep being our house. And... Uh, yeah, the, the, the way that I do it is, you see, I built in, uh, in in the cube, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So 6, then 1 pillar, then another 6, 1 pillar, 6, a pillar, and there you go. Then we, we place chests uh, whenever we need. So what essentially need to do now is to just build another floor. It's quite modular, so I'm just going to do a simple time lapse, and uh, yeah, you guys are going to watch it. It's very simple and very easy to do, and then I will explain a, a little bit more the process. There we go, we have a new floor, it's well lit and uh, yeah, it's ready to start taking even more storage. Now usually I would go to bed and roll up to the day, but the actual next part that we need to address is on the nether and on this chest over here. Uh, you guys see, I have four beacons, I have not been dedicating myself to mine more uh, skulls over there, but I have a lot of ores over here, and these ores are the ones coming from the iron farm, and the excess emeralds that I have from trading with the villagers, so the natural emeralds, I'm actually still touching them, just so I can keep count of uh, what is natural or not, and only natural iron goes to the storage building, the, the one from the, this uh, farm goes there. And I use those things to make beacons, but to make beacons I need another thing and uh, let's just uh, jump quickly to the nether. Many of you might not even know that I do actually in fact have one farm in the nether and it is a blaze farm that is on this corridor over... It's the, the other one. Uh, I, I always get the corridor wrong and, and you don't annoy me. Annoying thing. So usually when I came over here to this blade, the uh, blazer spawner, the reason why I would actually come here is to pick up the blaze rods uh, to use them and dry up sponges. But when I do that, I sometimes end up kill a, a couple of skeletons over there. And what it leads to is the fact that now I have one extra wither skeleton skull and I still have two more on the base so we can go and make, a, a, you know, another beacon by killing the wither. So, uh... Let me very, very quickly return to where we were, and uh, yeah, yeah, well, let's kill another wither and get yet another beacon. I actually need soul sand or soul soil to actually do this, and actually I don't have any in our storage base, and I'm entirely not sure, okay, it's soul soil because I have still two here, and this thing here, most of you might not remember, but this is where we used to repair our tools. I, 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 this is a zombie spawner. This was the first farm that I used to really, uh, you know, repair the tools. We have over here where I, I would do smelting. I had a clock to know if I needed to roll the time. They would drop here. And I still have a lot of supplies here that are from that time. I, I like this corner, it was a very cozy corner, but there is no denial that it's faster with the villagers. Uh, these portals go to a, a soul soil veil, so let me just get some more and uh, yeah, let's meet on the end. Or better yet, not in the end, uh, we need to go to the stronghold, and if I am not mistaken, it was on this direction. When I resetted the chunks, I was careful to try to not reset the chunks, where I put my marker to know where the end portal and the stronghold is. 
and it is somewhere in this ocean bay uh, more to that direction it was a little bit closer to a village uh, yeah, th th there we go it's that mark over there I, I was very very careful to not lose that because other way around I know it would be more or less over here but I'm not exactly sure on the where so uh, yeah uh, there we go uh, there should be an entrance somewhere over here indeed and uh, yeah now now we just need to go and uh, yeah let's go to the end now over here in the end somewhere I should have a killing chamber for the withers I don't know if something changed or not but I would mm, hope not um, we now can uh, pick up these things oh it's four and not three uh, good thing that I have one extra over here <laughs> uh, we just need to do this we pick up the skulls we summon the wither it's going to get noisy but let's just uh, go a little bit back uh, it should explode now at any moment there we go. Now, uh, yeah, we just uh, kill the wither. He's trapped, he's suffocating, it's going to be quite easy. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know about this cheesy way to get the wither, uh, now we know. It's also okay to go up close, not a big deal. It's uh, yeah, it's a good way to kill the wither if you want to really cheese it and you don't want the challenge. So uh, yeah, there you go. Now we have another Nether Star. Let's go back to the base and uh, have the fifth beacon. Three obsidian, five glasses covering, and one Nether Star at the center. And we have the fifth beacon of the world, and that's uh, the perfect uh, thing for us to end up with these beacon with this star illuminating our path very philosophical <laughs> anyway uh, these are the dot five episodes uh, they tell important segments of the story that doesn't really fit on the main story which is mining the entire world but it's important for me to show you how I do things uh, the process how we end up getting new beacons uh, increasing the storage so you see that there is a lot of work involved in this that it's not only mining and uh, with all of this said, time to go roll up to the day, go back to mining. I really hope that you have enjoyed and I also hope to see you on the next one.